and your lungs would be burning, your head would be spinning. We really need some, some, some composure from leaders out here right now. Jack Dupay has the footy, curls it superbly! All the way with Jack Dupay, we're all tied up! Hyde's able to connect with Kaufman who wants to launch, didn't get the greatest purchase on it. Out the back, we've seen this plenty of times. O'Sullivan, time to steady, time to shoot, time to go! Composes, look, look, quick look inside, nothing there. Executes the banana perfectly and gives Waliel up the perfect start to this game. Here's an opportunity to out the back, does it? Literally no one in front of her, it's just a kick and run. Porter's as quick as any player in the competition. Clark's lightning as well. What a race this is going to be. They'll get to the ball at about the same time. Porter's got a couple of metres, goes off the ground and kicks a beauty. Just like that. Brisbane take back the advantage, work off the ball between Amy McDonald and Spark. They hunt after this and each other. Morrison picks up the crumbs, worked it forward. Maloney pressured Conan Shear to announce herself in the preliminary final. Well, Shear just read it beautifully off the pack. Conan dropped one she usually would have marked. Gilroy goes high inside, 50. Meg McDonald had the sit. Thirdly playing forward to Stratton. Outside of the boot, on the left. How good is that for Christy Stratton? A special highlight in round 10. Oh, there you go. Frio again. Lally sends it in. They want to mark as it's knocked down. Tight. Dangerous in this situation. From the angle, on your tie. Found some room when there was none. This is going to be for West Coast. Have a look at this from on your tie. Such an area. Sullivan took a couple of goes to reel it in, but did well in the end, only as far as Mitchell. Malloy from the square might just go for distance, gives it everything she's got. It's a vacant goal square. It's a sensational goal by Chloe Malloy trying to lift her side. Here, Chloe Malloy, a good ground ball get, shrugged off one tackler, saw Friswell closing down, but knew she'd have the wheels to get out the back and then. Just so clever. She saw that there was a vacant goal square. Just out of her grasp. If it sits, she's in business. And now it gets to Hodder, who's so dangerous in this position. She is so brilliant. Courtney Hodder with another special goal. She clears danger. Goldsworthy from behind gave away the free kick. They take the advantage. Malloy with a sidestep. Different colours. Same. Marvellous. Magical Malloy. Well, there's no substitute for skill, and that is a brilliant finish from Chloe Malloy. She was up here on the half back, on the half forward line, and then all of a sudden she was in the back pocket putting defensive pressure on. But Chloe Malloy, her magic as well. Exit, exit screen left. Schultz picks up the football, drives it inside 50 off the hands of Houghton to the back. It's Boyd versus Saint. Saint gives it off. Ewing's from the pocket. She's a brilliant finisher, and she gives Port Adelaide the lead. Wow, what a goal from that pocket. I know Ash Saint gave it to her. <laughs> and I think she gave it to her thinking she'd slot a goal. Thinking Through Martin stuck to her. Coming the other way, Charlton goes inside 50. Right, one-hander. Ponta, dangerous. Lovely tap. Goal. Well done, Shannon. Gets through the first. Gets through the second. Snaps goal. Word. Oh, what a goal. How do we get this get her into the team. She was very, very good, but she wasn't eligible to be uh, elevated to the list, and eventually she got her chance, and here she is 50 games later. Here she is, outside of the group from the pocket. Happy 50th, Sophie Alexander. Swans with two goals to their name. Great pick up by Swanson. And then a quick hands by Lewis, but smothered by Malloy. Tucked in against the boundary line. Chloe Malloy, you magician! Pure brilliance. Outstanding effort from Chloe Malloy just to apply that pressure and the smother. Again, the craft around her body and an absolutely outstanding finish in front of goal. Fends off one. It's boot to ball, ball. Doyle. A kick towards goal. Oh. It's an absolutely miracle finish. Foley does well to tap it away from Randall. Gets bustled off the footy. Sheila goes again, but he has one from that pocket. O'Loughlin bends it round the corner. There can't be three. Oh, there he is! What is going on in that pocket?
McLaughlin's joined the party. North Melbourne down in this pocket of the field, but look at that gap that she had to work with. I'm going to say that was a bit of a shot cross, but... Um... Randall, good switch. Kelly will use Hart Hatchard back to Kelly. Look at the run here from Kelly. She'll take a bounce. She'll run to 35. Under some pressure. Lights it up and kicks one of the goals of the year. It's coming back in. Kick into the pocket. Schmidt was caught out of position. This hooker. Handballs to Swanson. Tucked up against the boundary line. Outstanding. If there's someone in the West Coast Eagles team that can help stand up and bring a little bit of life to this team right now and get them back on board, it is Emma Swanson. Padel. To, to Allen. O'Dwyer from the boundary line. Orla attacks the goal face, gets it all the way there. That is a brilliant goal. Well, we've seen some special goals in this AFLW season so far, but none other than this. Orla O'Dwyer takes a step, just throws it on the left boot. And it is that ability to really swing their hips, get through the footy, compared to a drop punt. We see the Gaelic style come into it because it was such enclosed space that it was going on in. Fine shot comes forward hey, through yeah. the outstretched arms. It trickles towards the back riser. Throws it on the boot. Oh, wow. oh, a miracle from Caitlin Griser. Absolutely sensational. Well, it was a miracle goal, this one trickling away. Great bodywork on Livingston and lurking in the middle of the ground for the Crows. Pontes moved into the centre for the Crows, wins the clearance. It's a deep ball inside, forward 50, it might go all the way. It has the carry. That's an incredible goal from Daniel Ponta. You know, I was just watching Richmond move then in their setups and they changed what they would do. So they all went 1v1. And so I think it was a win to Adelaide. It's like Richmond went in with that defensive mindset.